Hello and welcome back to uh, fucking. I started Jarvis Johnson Gold intro. Oh, let's just do it. <laughs> welcome to Sad Voice, a podcast about feelings and other things. Also, I'm sleepy. Gold. <laughs> let's go. Let's go to the gold. <laughs> My Pokemon um, go to the gold. I, I we was, can't talk about Pokemon Go. I can't stop uh, playing this fucking game. <laughs> I was strongly because I've thought about more than once starting a channel called Jarvis Johnson Go. <laughs> I can I'm not fucking kidding you, dude. I had the same idea last night. Yeah. Just deliriously, because you know sometimes you want to play Pokemon Go, but you're lying down. Yeah, dude. and then you do, and you're like, and then you I do. wish the guys would come here. That's where that's where I've started. Um, I've been playing the Go Battle League, which is like the mm-hmm. PvP. So I can do that while lying down, and I also just hope that people in my Discord invite me to remote raids, mm-hmm. and I can just tap tap from That'd my dream from my phone. I watch. Shout outs to the Pokemon Go League for empowering my thumb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the strongest thumb user in the Dude, galaxy. Dude, uh, yeah, I was gonna say like so. Um, we got to get the Pokemon Go talk out of the out of the way. We're still playing. Um, and we have now played in person. We're <laughs> we are gathering a cohort of of people. Yesterday. There was um, Minky Spotlight Hour. Yeah. And uh, Jordan slept through it. I did. But. No, it was pretty early. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was super duper early, 6 p.m. local time. Right. Um, and uh, uh, we got a good group together and we walked around. Um, we walked around town and I did catch a shiny Minky. Respect. Um, so shout out to me. Yeah, I saw, I saw him. Yeah. <laughs> Another one, yeah. And uh, it was good. We had like six people. Um, and there's a photo. I don't like being photographed or seeing people that recognize me and stuff when I'm playing Pokemon Go because I'm not. It's almost like being caught with your pants down sure, when yeah. somebody like opens like a bathroom stall that you're inside of because there's a small level of embarrassment. And I'm like a heavy sweater. So I'm usually like sweating and like not in my best form for, mm-hmm. for meeting someone. And uh, yeah, I'm at my least capable. Yeah, I think it's a little like drunk driving. I don't, I don't In what way? To, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it should be. A, it should be allowed. <laughs> Pokemon smear to the road. <laughs> Reality blending. <laughs> Reality blending. My car around a bowl. Um, but I also this weekend watched. This is a Pokemon Go cast. It's a podcast about Pokemon Go and other things. Also, um, go, I go go. I watched uh, Pittsburgh Regionals because now so. I follow Pokemon TCG. I watch the the tournaments that they have, and I play. Uh, not as much as I'd like, but I uh, do watch the the regional tournaments and the international tournaments in the worlds. And so the there was an international in Pittsburgh. There are there was a Pokemon Go event. I did watch it. Um, and competitive Pokemon Go, uh, very similar to the Go Battle League. A lot of people think I need to like go on a. PR tour for unpaid PR tour for Pokemon Go where I explain that like even though the competitive battling looks like tap tap there's like because you're just like tapping there's a remarkable amount of nuance Mm. to the to the to the play where I'm learning it now and I'm like impressed you know what I mean I'm impressed with like how much depth there is to how simple it Appears. Yeah, for a, t- a PvP that's supposed to be accessible to a lot of fucking yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. They probably don't play any PvP in any setting. I was like, no, they don't any other games. Yeah, no, so it's cool. I mean, like... Um, and yeah, they beat me all the fucking time. There's, yeah, because there's like, there's the speed at which you're gathering the the energy. There's... Um, when do you play your shields? When do you play your shields? There's baiting. Ba- baiting, there's switching. There's safe switching. Which is like the con. There's different lineups. There's like A B B lineups, A B A lineups. There's a uh, what is it called? Charge move priority. There's just like a lot of stuff. And uh, I do have. I want to give a shout out to um, the people who listen to the show and play Pokemon Go. I've gotten a few people who are like really high, like ranking PvP people. And I've just been hitting them up in the DMs and asking them dumb questions nice. about stuff. And they're being very helpful to me. And Was Jesus real? The, yeah, the questions are not about Pokemon <laughs> not Go. Not even close yeah, related. The, yeah. How big's human skull? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, the month is packed full of Pokemon Go events. There's so much coming. They just announced the Psychic yeah. event. 
So there's going to be a bunch of psychic Pokemon. I'm, I'm boned. G- Genesect in raids I'm excited about. The legendary beasts are coming back to raids for the first time. Entei, Raikou, Suicune are coming back to raids the third week of this month for the first time in like many years. So I'm very excited. And they're shiny eligible. So Did I tell you I missed out on a Zapdos? Really nice. Rare Zapdos. Rolled out. Shiny Zapdos. Shiny? Guess who dropped the bag? It's for Zavili. Oh, no. Yeah. It sucked. It was in Glendale. Oh, no. That's <laughs> very sad. Yeah, it was bad for me. Um, uh, I, I I will say... Um, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually not pissed. I'm actually laughing. It was so funny. Yeah, me. it was hilarious. Okay. <laughs> on the bright side, on the bright side, the shiny rates for those raids are 1 in 64. And they are coming... That Zapdos will be in raids for every weekend for the next 80 days. Oh my God, really? So yeah, so for this entire season, that Shadow Zapdos is in raids. So we will have like lots of opportunities to get it. Oxy got uh, the shiny Zapdos when we were out this weekend in Little Tokyo. Cool, nice, good for I know. Well, she always gets the so fucking sick. shiny. Yeah, yeah. So far, uh, dude. All right, so anyway. I'm hitting my excellence, but like, I guess that doesn't mean... It I doesn't mean anything, I guess. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I, just, shit. I talk about them on the show I get for no money. I, I, uh, the, I have unironically said I did everything right um, <laughs> when I used a golden raspberry and hit an excellent throw. And what do you the want po- from me? Yeah, man? I'm like, I'm doing everything right, and you were running away from me. I am flying me. to Japan What today. is happening? Uh, so now I cannot wait until we have to travel for something because getting all the foreign Pokestops, I've been like evangelizing. Oh, I'm fucking, I, you, I won't talk about it on the show because I don't really want to get into it, but there's like for bad reasons I might need to visit the UK. Yeah. And it, the one little shining light is like, yeah. Get some, look, I don't know what's available in the Mr. greater Ryan. rural area yeah, of yeah, yeah. England for like Cotswolds area. Yeah, you got special Pokemon. They like don't look normal. Yeah, I just go <laughs> like, are these even Pokemon? And it's uh, like, hey, hey, there. hello there. This is just a man. Hello there. <laughs> me lovers. <laughs> hey, me lovers. You didn't trap me in a bowl. <laughs> they would They would be fine with it. Um, Good me lovers calling. Yeah, well, yeah, that's. I, hey, look, we've been doing the show for a long time. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> hey, dude, we're contractually obliged to keep doing this damn thing. What um, do? Yeah, no. Oh, wait, this is the last thing. So, Russell, uh, my friend Russell, who I grew up with, who lives in New York City, Forget I'm like, it. you live in New York City. You need to be playing Pokemon Go. And, uh, and. You need to play this game, where, which really puts you at risk of getting hit by traffic. <laughs> yeah, he's he lives in New York City, which is incredible. And so he went into the office because, like, uh, he works in tech. He's an Android developer. He um, uh, he went into work. Like, it's like he works from home some t- days of the week. He goes in some days. And today was the first day he, like, walked into work after starting to play Pokemon Go regularly. And he just realized, like, how good the Fucking, area that oh he's around. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's not. Oh my yeah, god! I know, dude. It's crazy. The uh, I will say, anybody sees us having a little sit down at the uh, Glendale Phil's coffee, I can rec- I can recommend it. Four poker stops in sitting range. I did. So I was. We had the Manky Spotlight Hour. I show up to the Phil's, which was our meeting spot, which might change. So don't get. Luckily, we don't. None of us live there. So like, <laughs> it, or do we? Or do we? Hey, come on. <laughs> Maybe now. we live inside of the build. <laughs> I'm even behind you right now. And uh, I was sitting down. <laughs> you just kissed my, the back of my head. <laughs> um, I was sitting down with my... Oh, I have a gift for you. A shiny Zapdos. <laughs> I, he's back. I found him. Oh. God, I hope he's still here. Um, okay, so hi, kiss me in the okay, back of the head. Okay, open your eyes again. I'm, I'll give you the gift in a second. But anyway, I was sitting down in the fills with my uh, Go Plus, which is my like Pokeball yes. stop spinner thing, and I was resting my eyes because I knew I was gonna have to stare at my phone for an hour, and I and uh, I was like, let me just like not strain my eyes right now. Sometimes that happens. I'm just gonna cl- put some like cold stuff on my eyes. Let me just chill. And then my f- pocket was buzzing because it was spinning all the Poke mm-hmm. stops. And then the three Pokestops were forward that are right there. It just like kept buzzing every five minutes. And I was like, oh, this feels so good. <laughs> I was like watching a true crime video about a horrible murder. 
and uh, and that while the the Pokestops were buzzing and I was getting the Ultra Balls and Great Balls needed to complete my quest. It is a really weird uh, game to like hybrid play while mm-hmm. you could. I mean, I very rarely am I playing a game or really doing anything without some secondary media. Yeah, you know. Uh, a vaccine against spending any time with my own mind. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Been there. There is. Am there. <laughs> <laughs> Currently there right now. I'm laughing. I don't what even, I'm I not upset. We did the podcast with AirPods in. <laughs> I'm like l- watching Hassan stream while like uh, talking to you. Fake socialist. Oh man, did you hear about the. <laughs> Lives in a house? What the heck? Can Being I just... one of those people in the chat that's like funny, but it's hard to tell if they're joking initially. It's like, nice face, you fucking idiot. And then, <laughs> and then like, he looks and it's 40 months of yeah. <laughs> Uh Hassan's house way smaller than I thought it was going to be. I love, yeah. Not because of... I, uh, I, I just, it's a lovely house. No, it's an incredible house, but the internet made me think the, he bought a chateau. <laughs> the way it's pitched, I literally thought it was like a 15 room. Yeah, no, literally, it's just a house. Ha- like, it's such a normal house. It's just a nice no house. Aff- it's a nice house. And no, aff- I'm not trying to like shit on Hassan's house but when he walked in here he was like you should be canceled for this because <laughs> I got canceled that would be nice um, I get canceled for my renting yeah for your for your rented apartment because I'm a rentoid yeah because you're a rentoid and you live in a, a a place that has a lot of similarly shaped rooms look and units hey, lock me up oh what? okay I'm so are you serious <laughs> <laughs> what no oh, okay well at least it's worth it alright here's your gift Let's go! <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. I, it, it, I mean, maybe I'll show it to the camera. If I re- remember correctly, Jarvis has two of these devices. They basically function as a, um, hey, you playing Pokemon Go really, really actively? Would you like to be playing it even more? Even those yeah. milliseconds where your phone is in your pocket. Yeah, it's like, it, so basically it spins Pokestops and can throw Pokeballs and catch Pokemon with you passively. So like if you're like driving in the car or something where your phone's like in your pocket or whatever away from you it's just like you casually are getting items and getting like pokemon you might discover a shiny that you caught like i did the other day i wasn't on keep track of your sleep with the press of a button oh yeah i i also do that it (gasps) works with pokemon Pokemon sleep sleep. and it and it works with uh pokemon go if you connect it you can um you if you start tracking your sleep there's a few benefits but one of the best ones is you can get snorlax with a sleepy hat what the hell yeah you how get, is that fair for me not having that yeah i get i never get i do everything right yeah so and yeah. now they're indicting you <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah i'm a box with pikachu printed on yeah i'm actually i so imagine i'm like a, a dinosaur Okay. But, uh, you know, some people may not... I'm good at this. What people may not know is... Uh, well, some people mentioned it in the past. There's a very decent possibility that a lot of dinosaurs had feathers, which is funny when you think True, about it. True, yeah. Because cosmetically, it's just not what we think of. You know? Yeah. So also, a lot of... What do we talk about when we do this ASMR sometimes stuff? Sometimes people think... I think usually it's like a role-play situation or something. Right, okay. But anyway... Um, I'm a dinosaur. A lot of people, it. a surprising amount of people think that dinosaurs died from a meteor hitting them specifically <laughs> what are you <laughs> like hitting them all at the same time okay, and not... <laughs> <laughs> maybe because they haven't really given much thought to the <laughs> impact of the atmosphere and yeah, stuff of course. they made it inhabitable for change the, the capacity of the climate yeah the, they just it, it was no longer able to like breathe and stuff <laughs> I actually don't understand it much myself. <laughs> I just know they all just didn't get hit individually. <laughs> Dude, like a, a shotgun guy, blast of asteroids. A guy coming up to a TED talk holding like <laughs> uh, just like a fifth of vodka with a straw in it. He's just like, yeah, I don't know if that's fucking... I don't know a lot about it myself. Um, you see Jurassic Park? Yeah, I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> I, but I saw the second Jurassic World. Not good. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. I'm not the guy. Yeah. <laughs> this I got lost, so I'm just on mm-hmm. stage now. Would you have a TED talk? Would I ever? Yeah. Yes, I would. Um, you know him, right? Ted. Yeah, yeah. he's coming on the podcast. Actually, Ted Nicholson <laughs> to talk. Um, that will be a TED talk. I, but I don't have anything good to say. I think I would just have to talk about. 
I would probably have to be one of those people who tells a personal story about their life. Like a Babiglia style. Because I don't think I could really be like, here's how you become successful or something like that. Like, I couldn't do that because your mileage may vary. But I could be like, hey, here's the life I lived. If that helps you, yeah, here you go. I won't, I won't forget <laughs> who I am. Because I, I was real, I was like, where's my label maker? By the way, big fan of label makers. They're the best. I was like, where's my label maker? Because we will mix ours up. And I already oh the bulls yeah 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 I'm gonna um, mix our bulls up. I just want to sh- I just want to say to the audience that I have a pair of left-handed scissors because I'm left-handed, and if you are a left-handed person, I recommend getting left-handed devices so that your right-handed friends have to experience what your life has been like. Ooh. Because every time Ooh. I use right-handed scissors, my hand hurts. Oh my head. Uh huh. Yeah, that's ow, the sound ow. of somebody who doesn't. <laughs> I give it to you and you're like, ow, this Ow. fucking hurts. I can, let me try it. Yeah. Ooh, my hand. <laughs> I guess I could go for the old, uh, the kind of Hendrix, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> hold, hold it I did wrist. try to learn guitar upside down because I'm left-handed. And I just like the inconvenience of it all. I didn't want it bad enough, you know? I got the kindest message that said, Hey, I think I saw you at Santa Monica Beach last-ish week. You did. I was playing Pokemon Go, but we don't have to talk about that. I really wanted to say hello and tell you I really enjoy your videos and maybe ask for a pic together. But being a native New Yorker, in that moment, I knew better than to approach public figures who were just trying to live their lives. And I was like, this is an example of how considerate our audience is, but it's okay to come up to me. Yeah, Um, no, I like it. I I still, I just find it very flattering. unless Unless I'm like... In the middle of something where in that case i may have looked really intensely into something which is entirely possible like if i was fighting a raid boss or something and you came and talked to me which did happen at santa monica pier one time and i did take a picture with someone i was in line while doing a raid they came up to me and they were talking to me and so i took the picture and i just put my phone behind my back and continued Absolutely. tapping hell yeah tapping that <laughs> thing because i wasn't about to flame out of that requaza raid um, You're up past your bedtime and it's time to stop gaming, so you just have to be like really quiet. Oh, and press the buttons all quiet, boy, did I do know? that? Big mistake getting me the Game Boy lamp. Foolish. <laughs> you know, you the thinking? little like the, the little light <laughs> that like would plug into the Game Boy. We're too old. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, like, that little light that looks like an anglerfish. Like, yeah. It's like 50,000 <laughs> yeah, feet under coil. the sea. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I have such vivid memories of just refusing to get off the toilet because I was playing the Super Mario like Luigi old superstars. On I was like Advance. under the covers playing Pokemon, and I was like, I don't think my mom was gonna like come in. <laughs> you know what I mean? It'd be like, ha! This is a random <laughs> test of whether or not you're asleep. <laughs> Wait, I miss. Every now and then, I think to myself, like, what? Are the- it's funny how when I was a little boy and I, you know, wasn't responsible, didn't take care of myself. And I say like that has not at all changed. I am True. the same way. It's mm-hmm. just that what will the reason I don't eat as much fast food as I would I would have as a child given the option is because now I feel like I'm dying. If yeah, I do it. That's yeah. I did. I did pull a Canadian Jarvis move. Yes, oh. I ordered Mackie D's early Ooh. in the morning. So I was very, I was just oh tired. yes, can I, I see what you mean? Now. And yes. I. <clears throat> Fell asleep early. <laughs> oh, Fell the asleep real at 5 the Jarvis Gambit. Fell asleep at five a.m. Woke up at eight thirty a.m. Realized I'd missed out on it, and I don't know what the. I don't know if this is how this fits into the the five second rule in extended <laughs> universe. Three or four hour rule. Three and a half hour rule. Yeah, I, yeah, I did chow down. Yeah. Hey, oh yeah. Hey, I've been there. I this happened in um when we were in Canada. This is why it's a Canadian Jarvis move. I don't know if we talked about this on the show. We may have. Oh, I got a, a couple of like dessert items from Canadian McDonald's because they were different. And I was like, I want to try them. But I ordered them at night and I fell asleep before they arrived. And then when I woke up, it was so cold outside that I was like, this is basically a refrigerator. Oh, it was lovely. So I, I did something even riskier, which was I drank chocolate milk that had been sitting for four or five hours outside. But it was like 50 or 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So Brother, I think it was fine. If that's bad, I guess you can't eat cheese. That's old, dude. 
freaking yes. How about use your brain, people? Yeah, you I'm just can, throwing up. You can't eat cheese. I'm so sick. <laughs> I love cheese, and I don't know what to Ooh. do about it. Like it's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> like I um, I think I just love the consistency of specifically. What's the? Let me give it a little shout out. Sargento. Which, Which sounds that? like the guy who did the whip in Nene song. <laughs> <laughs> Sargento. <laughs> it's Silento. But yeah. Anyway, Sargento, not sponsored, like mozzarella or string cheese sticks. Oh, yeah. I've seen that. Reduced right. fat because I want to eat more of them. <laughs> and I want to feel less Net guilty equal, about it. Yeah. Right. So if I get full fat, then it costs me. Not cost me. But I think it's like, I got, yeah, I got the reduced fat ones for guilt reasons. And uh, I just, um, num, 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 num. So good. Eat them with crackers. Eat them without crackers. Chomp on them. Don't pull the string cheese. Just go full feral with Respect. it. Respect. Yeah. I'm, I'm personally, I'm a big advocate for eating foods in a way that bothers annoying people. Mm-hmm. Biting straight into a Kit Kat front on. Grow I, the hell up. Yeah, I don't grow care. Grow up, dude. Why, if you're chewing all the sides off, you're having a worse culinary experience yeah overall. oh you're getting Not as chocolate addicted. all over your hand so that you can individually break off a piece of that Kit Kat bar grow the frick up, the dude. Hell up dude doesn't don't matter you don't listen to our it podcast. doesn't matter dude just sign up for the patreon that's all we ask okay five dollars a month and you get every episode but every don't bonus. listen to them <laughs> don't even listen dude <laughs> Actually, go for the $15 tier. And don't listen. The more you pay, the less you listen, dude. I was thinking maybe like one time we do a like a pilot for po- the Pokemon Go Boys or something. Oh, that would Go be fun. Boys. I, I wonder if you would be interested in that. Yeah, it's one of those things where no way in hell we could put it out publicly. But maybe if there's like super invested people. Mm-hmm. Um, Once a month, Go Boys. Have you seen how? Well, so first of all. IRL streamers that are, um, what's the word? What's the word for like a person who's viewed poorly by society? Persona non grata? Yeah. Like Ice Poseidon. Problematic? Yeah. Oh, scum? (laughs) In (laughs) the case of Ice Poseidon. Like Ice Poseidon, I believe, got started with IRL streaming, streaming Pokemon Go. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Wow, is it? I think it was... I thought you said longer ago than that, I guess, yeah. But I think it was 2016, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know that for sure. Maybe I could check like a bad Famous Birthdays-esque website. Um, Mm, Yeah. Shout-outs to a different Famous Birthdays-related site that decided to one-up how wrong Famous Birthdays uh, Vanilla was about me and has bumped my age to four years older than I am. Thank you for that. Uh, Glad I look like that could be viable doesn't hurt i'm actually laughing <laughs> um i will say that uh irl streaming so obviously he did old school runescape first but when he did irl it began with pokemon go did i don't what is with the i would say the percentage ratio of irl streamers being sociopaths is a lot higher than any other. Yeah, portion. which has made me second guess my own thoughts about IRL streaming, mm. be, or about me myself IRL streaming. Though we do have more friends who have done more IRL streaming stuff, like Sandwich. Yeah, we have people, but usually it's people who are like, it's supplemental to the, the thing they've been doing or they've been doing. Right, like Twitch if you're an so IRL streamer by trade, mm. like it's all you do, I do think it can create the feeling of viewing it all of life is a game. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it feels like, uh, you know, all those, there's like a bunch of movies and TV shows from the 80s where people were doing satanic panic. Uh-huh. And there's just movies about people getting so obsessed with Dungeons and Dragons. They don't know what's oh, real that's, anymore. That makes me so mad. It just feels like that, but it is completely right. <laughs> like, yeah, where you're like uh, protesting Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, because uh, a world of wizards. That sounds like a world of the devil. Yeah. <laughs> but then it's like, but also here is a gun. <laughs> you can have it. Yeah. Shoot it left hand. My left eye my left eye is sharp. <laughs> it's sharp, baby, dude. Like an eagle. Like an eagle scout and eagle the bird. Are you of prey? Are you good? Which with- you are of mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take his gun away. <laughs> Actually, I changed my mind. You you, you gun shoot? No. <laughs> I've never shot a gun in my life. Nor do I want to. Well, 
I mean, if the situation like presented itself, then maybe a I, duel. <laughs> yeah, like if Aaron Burr hit me up and was like. Yo, meet me on that island outside of <laughs> New Jersey. I'd be like, okay. But uh, he's from the past that so we'd use a drone. <laughs> yeah, well, like drone strike. A Aaron based Thunderbird. Yeah. Um, I did. I shot. I did some legally dubious uh, shotgun shooting in France. Whoa. I don't really know if you're allowed to have those. Yeah. But they were. It wasn't even like a double barrel farmer's shotgun, which you can sometimes have depending on like the region, at least in England. This is, this is like a like a riot shotgun. This is like a, a military shotgun. Oh, snap. Yeah. Oh, peach oh, schnapps. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. I want to do it again. Me and Katie were, were thinking about going and, and doing something like that, you know, to you know bring us closer by spinning a revolver. I think we were both in this boat where, like, the unregulated internet probably showed us at, like, a very mm. too young age, like, horrifying things. Oh, yeah. I don't even know if it's it's... It's, I don't know if it's just because I was a teenager, but the somehow that ecosystem like showed me content I have not even seen anything close to these days. Yeah, I don't know if it's like better regulation or the pools yeah, that think I you now. Have to, yeah, you, you just have to go to like Live Leak or something yeah. like that to see it, and like. Yeah, I guess that my portals for content now are, has really like four websites. Yeah, that's well, that's another problem, which is sort of like <laughs> consolidation of attention into like a murderer's row of uh, uh, annoying webs addicting yeah, websites of murderous content <laughs> yeah um but thankfully elon's got our back so that if anybody gets banned for it he'll come in and be like what about free speech here's it bigger i caught up with friend of the show early guest of the show alexis gay whoa who was in town this weekend for a very wild reason the reason was that she was doing stand up at a conference. So there's this podcast called uh, called All In Podcast, where it's three billionaires in one 100 millionaire. That and sounds that, fucking insufferable. Yep. And it's, uh, I think, uh, do you know um, that Indian dude who Nick is hometown's friends with? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that guy listens to that podcast. That was where I first heard of Respect. it. Respect. And, uh, and, so they have a conference that people pay like fifteen thousand dollars to go to. They uh, the podcast, yeah. Wow, Jesus. Yeah, because it's and then the, the guests, uh, the the guests at the podcast. So Alexis went on on Saturday at uh, two p.m. was opening, did fifteen minutes of stand up. Following Alexis were a few other people, including Mr. Beast and Elon Musk. Respect the Avengers. Yeah. Oh my God. And so. Uh, and she told me um, the dynamic. They, they also did a Q and A with her after her set. The billionaires did. What is their standing energy? Do you know what I Who mean? Who knows? When the momentum's not going. <laughs> New iPhone got announced. Did you see the little short film they played about Mother Nature? No. Uh, for the Apple Watch. No. Because the Apple, the new Apple Watch is like apparently carbon neutral. Oh. Uh -huh. And so they I made, always. Apple's like environmental stuff. It's like, I think that if I'm to take what they say at face value, it's good that they're making an effort, but mm -hmm. something I'm like, it's hard to believe that it's hard to take them at face value because oh, it is yeah. the biggest, one of the biggest corporations in the world. And it has Octavia Spencer as mother nature. Oh, what? Yeah. It was interesting. What? Oh no. It's Tim Apple. Hi, I'm Tim. I'm gonna do the offices already carbon neutral thing, right? Yeah, all yours. Oh no. Gucci belt. What? Let me just drill. Is that Keith Leak from Smosh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm glad other people are saying it. Yeah, that's definitely Keith Leak. <laughs> Damn. Shout out. I guess the big times over here. Essentially, yeah, though, it's like them sitting down and explaining that, like, their offices are, like, 
powered by clean energy and stuff. And then oh, that sounds really interesting. And then she makes it sunny for them because they're doing good. I want to see you do more of this. You will. When? By 2030, all Apple devices will have a net zero climate impact. All of them? All of them. They better. They will. <laughs> this energy is weird. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that... He seems it, pissed. That t- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will, I said. It, I feel... Okay. I need See, that, like, reaction gif of <laughs> Tim yeah. Cook just, like, holding sternly. Okay, so, yeah, it's too self-congratulatory, man. I mean, it, I don't, don't, it's nothing but cynical marketing. Do, no, that's the yeah, thing. So. It's like, I think that any positive um, work that Apple's doing here is, like, undercut by the, like, holier than thou like patting themselves on the back of it all because they do talk about like it's almost a meme at this point that all their presentations they have like a slide about sustainability um and it's like but it's a good thing if it's um really happening the way they say it is but i need i need some sort of independent third party to like yeah to tell me if I can believe them or not because i can't just take the propaganda from the company itself about the work that yeah, it's and like, and ultimately, there's not that much utility to it. Like, the actual impact it will have is pretty minor, relatively speaking. So it is only, and they know that, right? So it is only in its in its heart, it is purely cynical. Well, it's like we will continue making billions of dollars, but won't be contributing negatively to the environment. Don't worry. Which so, is a real bare minimum move, by the way. It's just like, right. yeah, I'm actually going to, I'm going to become a millionaire, but I'm not going to hit any homeless people with my car. So, like, the thing is, though, it's like, should more companies be doing this? Yes, if it's real. I need, but I, I just, I need, you know, like, I think, you know, MKBHD, who I trust, said, like, um, I think he said something putting words in his mouth. I think he said something along the lines of like, it's cringe, but like more companies do need to be doing this. And I'm like, I think it's like if, if they're to be believed that their impact is like what they say it is, then yes, I, if I could flip a switch that made all companies like not, but then there's also the stuff that like carbon neutrality and stuff is, uh, or offsetting carbon emissions is, could be viewed as like propaganda from like the oil industry sure. because uh, it's just a way to like pay money to like continue doing the bad stuff without it's, pushing for any kind of change in how we generate and use power. Right. In, in, in it, but I think the difference with Apple stuff to be, t- if we take it uh, in good faith is that they're like using a lot of recycled material, like a hundred percent recycled materials in a lot of cases which is good, but then what is the exhaust from that process of recycling? Mm-hmm. Like, it's and like how precise can you even be? Yeah, with that and what claim? is the what are the chemical processes used? What are the like? I just don't know. I don't know enough about the environment, about environmental science, mm-hmm. about like what they are like doing. Like, it's I'm completely out of my depth, so I just need to like research more about the like from the experts. But it's kind of like being a. Uh someone that's like hey i'm colorblind versus actually being anti-racist like right. proactively being like hey there needs to be systemic change yeah. versus like hey I'm, i'll hang out with anybody hey i actually uh, <laughs> i'm actually race neutral yeah. <laughs> i've offset my race emissions if i hang out with someone white i will you know i'm actually willing to see someone that's black like nearby um sorry we have an you ad. Ufology. how do you say that we have Oof. an ad on this npr page um that says oh no it just changed oh, oh that the book on crypto that reads like a high stakes financial thriller an know. instant new york times bestseller <laughs> it's isn't the new Franklin, york best isn't the new york bestseller like ten thousand copies in a month i think or it's something? i think it's less <laughs> it's <laughs> I, like, I genuinely do think it's less yeah, less than that it's nothing too many motherfuckers writing books can i say it? there's enough books. or not enough and they've been doing it for fucking ages there's books that are like a hundred years old. I I keep hearing from friends who are writing books and stuff, um, 
I keep hearing wild stuff about the publishing industry just because it's so old mm-hmm. <laughs> and how hard it is to do things. Yeah, uh, it's like if you still could only publish like, vinyl. I don't know if I could talk about this, but like this was like I had a conversation with oh, yeah. her and uh, and just she was talking about like the publishing industry and I was like, yo, this sounds awful. <laughs> oh, wait. Before we, before we move on. Do you know Luffy's birthday? I don't. It's May 5th. Yo. Isn't that insane? I think, okay, that explains something. Cause, uh, someone, so is ours to people that yeah, don't know. But we, someone brought that up. Uh, no, someone casually mentioned Luffy and my birthday, but I didn't think anything of it. Yeah, I, a couple people replied. I don't even remember. Yeah, wait. It was a reply to something related to both of us. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of people were like, yeah, L- Luffy Day. Oh, it was what I tweeted a thing about Karl Marx also being May 5th. And right. Three people like and Luffy Day. Luffy, like, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, hey, look. What can I say? I'm a pirate at heart. Gumma Gumma. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Apparently the show is gum, gum good. Podcast. Um, yes. I, uh, <laughs> it's, I mean, people like it. I, I've watched half of the first episode and it's definitely very like campy, like kitschy. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm excited to watch more because, uh, yeah, people seem to seem to f with it. I'm very curious about it. It's the only thing is it's like the fiftieth things on, on my prayer list. There's of stuff a lot. To watch. Yeah. I finally watched Guardians of the Galaxy three last night. How was that? It was okay. Okay. I love to. Oh, okay. I I don't. I couldn't. I think I've seen two. Three. It's okay. It's all right. It's I about, think it's I a kind of movie. I go through the whole I go through the same like emotional arc with all of those movies where I'm like, this is cool. I like this. This is good. <laughs> Aha, that's funny. And then I completely forget everything I watch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I got burned on a few of those damn things. Oh my god, the shows. Loki is pretty good. All the other shows. I yeah, I do doo-doo. I do like Loki and the um season two is starting soon. Yeah. Or maybe I'll, I'll dabble in that just because it's something else, but Fuck me, that Falcon and the Winter Soldier show is one of the worst oh, shows really? I've ever Plus I didn't it, even know there was that. It has uh, one of the most embarrassing endings to anything I've ever seen, which is, it's kind of like, there's clearly a lot cut out of it because it came out like middle of 2020 and there's a bunch of bioterrorism related con like mm. there's that seems to be one of the storylines is like they've got this disease that they're going to spread and it's clearly been cut out like the main villains are like we, we're going to get this thing and they're like uh. what is it is like, it's just a weapon it's just something like you know it's uh. just something going on it's so aimless and like clearly something's missing and there is i'm not shitting you dude the final part of that show spoilers for a stupid shit show there is Falcon in his embarrassing new outfit to be hybrid Captain America, the like goofiest looking Jacob. We pull up. Is it uh, Anthony Mackie? Mm-hmm. Okay, so and, he's uh, in the show. He is in the show. He becomes Captain America. Not a bad arc at all, but the costume is appalling. Oh no! And he, the show ends with him. He's just saved like some people from the the. Uh, the big senate event or whatever big big meeting big international political meeting and he literally just stands around with them in a circle with a bunch of uh press crew and uh, it's the most lib coded wrap up it's literally vote harder the ending Mm. he's just talking to these like these these you know in real life, psychopaths, like senators, they don't care. They, that's why things are happening. Right. And instead he's like, you've, he literal quote is, you've got to do better, senator. And he's like telling them off, waggling his little finger. Like, you know what? you got to give money to the poor. And the guy's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm real sorry, Falcon. Oh. I'm sorry, Captain America. It's just oh, like, oh dear. So like amazingly bad. That I felt like I was becoming a crazy person. There's a lot of that. That's kind of where I'm at with Marvel stuff. Is I'll just I'll watch one, I'll dig it. Watch another. This is like appallingly bad. Like Dog, Dog Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Oh, right. One of the worst movies I've ever. I was like confused that people were complaining about it being. It's literally like if there was just a turd on a plate and people were like, "It's okay." It's like not the worst meal I've ever had. I'm like no, it it, it should be. <laughs> you should have hated this. 
Um, You're wrong. <laughs> let's uh, go to the game, and then I we may have to reconvene and do the bonus later because I have to tend to something. I think it's all good. I didn't sleep last night. So I'm, <laughs> I'm frazzled. Um, okay, so the name Jacob has created a game, everyone. Jacob has created a game. It's called Name Those Boys. Name Those Boys. Now, am I correct in assuming that this uh, contribution you've made to the show is in some way your attempt for me to forgive you for the profile picture fiasco of 2023? If that makes you feel better. <laughs> okay, it's because yeah. it does not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm still furious about it. I, mean, I don't want to get back into it. Listeners know. <laughs> Jacob chose a certain profile picture on Slack, and our company Slack, and... Um, it was a uh, big booty Luigi. It was big booty Luigi, and it was really cool. And when I got him for it, he did change it, and I'm pissed about I that. Did. I decided it was time for me to um, just take a step up in professionalism. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we sent you one of those uh, like uh, sociopath. Uh, uh, I, every day I wake up at one a.m. and I work out for nine hours. Right, While I'm yeah. doing that, I read a book and I'm in the cold plunge underwater. <laughs> yes, in other words, I've been grinding. Now. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you've been rising and grinding. <clears throat> Absolutely. So here we have uh, essentially just like 12 boy bands. It's a lot of boys. Okay. And um, you're going to take turns naming them. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay. And I've decided that you get two points if you name them from the photo. And one point, you can ask for a hint, and I'll okay. play oh, okay. a clip from their third most popular song. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We um, have to take turns, though. Yes. Um, how do we determine for... Um, I guess Jarvis was born first. Jarvis goes first. Uh, sure, yeah. Now, Jacob, I, I like the premise of I this can... game. I do feel like we're not accounting for Jarvis's okay. expertise. Well, I don't know. There, there's a lot of these that... I can also click on them to make them bigger. If you okay, cool. Oh. Uh, so do, so we just have to go one at a time? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, so we stop. Do we have to start from any... Do we have to start from A1 or... Nope, you can pick whichever one. All right, well, I'll take the gimme, which is D1 in sync. Absolutely. Yeah. Jacob, can I please have D2 in detail? D2 detail? Give me a click. Oh, yes. Yes, sir, those are the chain smokers. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's two points for Jordan. Okay. Can I have, like, another point? Uh, all was, right, A1's cute. the Backstreet Boys. Fudge. <laughs> God, man, it looks so much like Joba. <laughs> Yo, can I have A2 in detail, please? Initiate uh, A2 in hands. Okay, D hands. <laughs> That's it. I've, I don't know. <laughs> I've been in hands too much. They didn't do it for me? Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> um, oh, I, 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 B, oh, can, you, can I have B1 in hands, please? <laughs> Initiate in hands. Uh, go ahead, hit me with the third most popular song, please. Okay. Hmm. Nope. Uh. Can I guess? Oh, no, wait, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's the name? <laughs> Just out of interest. I mean, okay. Here's here's my thought process. This is combined with the track. This is some chronically two thousands fashion, early two thousands, maybe before the event. I, Jacob, I have no idea. I'm gonna go ahead and call them. The, the, oh man, that's uh, the, the, the uh, um, busted. Oh, can I, I? I like. I have other things I'd rather guess, but can I steal? Like, do we have a mechanic about that, or I'll just hold on to this for later? Um, hey, yeah, can, I, yeah, I, yeah, steal. We don't. We don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna get it. Uh, I, Big Time Rush is my guess for that. Absolutely. No, oh, come on, they, man. Big Time is in the song that gave it away to me. Oh, rats. But my real, my real turn um, is B2 Imagine Dragons. B2 is in fact 
back to normal. No, come on. They're not imagining any dragons. What are their songs? They're like, imagine there's a fucking dragon. dragon. Yeah, Look no. out. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wyvern in the sky. There's a Feeling dragon in, in my the dragon. sky. I'm waking up the dragon in my bones. <laughs> oh shit! Look out! I shouldn't have did it. The Welcome to the Dragon Age. <laughs> Origins. <laughs> okay. All right. D uh, A three feels. I'm hoping that when uh, Jacob, in, in, please enhance A three. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Um, give me the, go ahead, give me this one. I know this one, I think. Is it Muppet and Sons? It's not. Okay. How can I steal? Yeah. Is it the Black Keys? It's no, not. It's Damn. The Black Keys, get the fuck out of here. I don't know what they look like. Hold on. Um, I guess since you should I tell you what it is? Since oh yeah, since neither of us got it. Those are the Lumineers. You're kidding. That's what the Lumineers look like. I thought there was more. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought there uh, was a bunch of Lumineers. Could I do C1 Boys to Men? Absolutely. Oh. Congrats. Motown <laughs> Philly's back again. <laughs> Did little little Is there's no way? Who's this Macklemore looking fucker in C2? <laughs> Wait a minute. There's no chance that's Chris Martin, is there? No. No, I'm too young. Is this a well known band, Jacob? Do you know? Yeah. What's the like name of the like just something that rhymes. The band? Yeah, like rhymes with it. I don't know, but I could play a song for you if you What like. are the letters of it in order? Oh, I can't tell you. I can't read. <laughs> yeah, play me a song. Give me the beat, boy. Imagine a dragon. Oh, I'm such an idiot. It is Chris Martin. I suck. Okay. That's uh, uh, Coldplay. Fudge, dude. He looks weird. There. He does look weird here. When you said, is it Chris Martin? I like focused in and I was like, I think it is. Huh. But he does look weird. Here. It must be uh, yeah, I mean, to be fair, I think the last time I saw a photo of Chris Martin, it was like on uh, Ricky Gervais' show Extras 20 years ago. He's cute. Oh, bottom right. No. Oh, no. I know what the bottom right is. Uh, Could I get D3? No. <laughs> Uh, this is Red Hot Chili Peppers. No! Right? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Why didn't I see that earlier? Got flea so little. Yeah, flea <laughs> looks so young. Yes. So then we have these. I don't know who those guys are. Yeah, give me, these show me up. three up. left. Um, <laughs> what should we be three? Actually, wait, 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 wait. Show me, uh, C3. Oh. I think in the middle, really, I thought it was Julian Casablanca's. This <laughs> doesn't help. I was going to say the Strokes, but that's not the Strokes. Yeah, okay, I don't know that one at all. Uh, give me B3. Is that Mumford and Sons? It is. Are you kidding me? No, it's Mumford and Sons. Oh, I did. There's four of them? It beats me. <laughs> how, many, how many of them are Sons? Which one's Mumford? I guess... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that was a raw guess. I tell you what. Okay, great. That's great. That helps. <laughs> God, that chilies one really hurts. All right, so then we have these two. Did we get A2 A3? And C3. A3. Yeah, A3 was Lumineers. Oh, you yeah. guys didn't get that one. I still I don't, see. I can't even hold on to it now. I don't think I know any of the remains. We didn't get B2 yet, right? B2, B2 is a magic dragon. B2 oh, is a magic dragon. Imagine a dragon. Yeah. Um, yeah, could you just tell us? Um, do you want to hear either of oh, your yeah, songs yeah. to help you? Oh, guys? true. Yeah, yeah, give me a. Yeah. Give me, give me, yeah. Oh, yeah. no, it's your time, right? C, give me three, C3's song. Hmm. Third most popular <laughs> song. Hmm. 
So. Wait, hold on. Oh, you. I love you. <laughs> Playing my tees. Absolutely. So that's one point. Oh, and the voice came in too. I've <laughs> never heard that song, but the voice is distinct enough. I mean. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, I've heard the song before. Is it that who? I like probably wouldn't have known that that was the song. Bollocks. So it's just uh, B two left, right? Mm -hmm. B twos are magic dragons. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you literally can't hold on to it, man. What's the rule? Just a two left. Oh, <laughs> but damn it. Oh. I have a guess, but I don't know. I have a guess simply the era of the music. Though. I think I think you can pretty safely take a steal on this one because I. I mean, okay, my guess from the era is New Kids on the Block. It is <laughs> absolutely. What? <laughs> yeah. What's their number one song? I couldn't tell you. Okay. I'm I, more of a number three kind of guy. I it just is, knew that New Kids oh, on the Block was like a boy step. band. Like the only reason I could guess that is because of um it was like in the 90s they were like kind of a new kids on the block had okay, a lot yeah. of hits you this know like, like that type of stuff it like type. or or uh you know uh for example there's the Eminem lyric which we will have to censor new kids on the lot block a lot of boy girl groups make me sick and so that i i just and it's like something about catching you out in public and it's, catch me outside Wow. And Jarvis. there is none of them were Imagine Dragons, you said? Um, all of them were Imagine Dragons. Yeah, yes. it does all, add up, of course, yes. Dragons. Yeah. It uh, is, uh, <laughs> it's depressing to me that the chain smokers were the first ones that caught my eye. Is there in an episode of Sunday Conversations that I mm. found them interesting? I, did, I, will, I will reveal that I did also know that that was the chain smokers because they performed at a VidCon party really? two VidCons ago. Oh my God. Interesting. It is like, it's weird the, the blind spots sometimes that I feel like I have. And I, I do think a portion of it is like, some of these uh, American groups did did pierce the veil, did pierce the European veil. And I'm never sure if I don't recognize some because they didn't. Can we just imagine dragons for once? Have just you ever imagined dragons? All yeah. the fucking time. That bro. moment when I imagined dragons. Yeah. Dude, ow, I'm thinking too much of dragons. <laughs> that name is so stupid. <laughs> Why is it called that? I genuinely, before the Imagine Dragons hate train started, uh, I listened to their first album and I liked it. I listened to that single all the time. Oh yeah, I, I thought it was cool. But they're like very like big, very theatrical, very mm -hmm. like... Like, and then you, I, I think I, they started to lose me when I would see the live performances and they'd just be like hitting the drums. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. I think that, what do they call concert pop or something like that? that it's like a very specific. Like a, is it like arena pop or yeah, something? Yeah, or, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like yeah. explicitly for that kind of environment. It's, yeah. Hey, man. I, 99% I, I, of the time, I feel like when I hear hate for a musical artist, it's just a bad take because it's just, it's just a, like, it's, it's like one of those fun, and stuff. Yeah. Like, I, just don't, I don't care if it's connecting with someone that's fine whatever the maybe the like occasional exception i'll make is if it's just also like morally <laughs> like, yeah or like that um i know he said like oh actually i'm a centrist for that stupid song with the, like the the rich man above rich oh man that guy was confusing yeah rich like the song rich is man, mid yeah. but the point is dumb what the f who was what's his name Oliver Anthony. I think it's Imagine Dragons. Oh, yeah. yeah it's yeah. Imagine uh, uh, Mumford. <laughs> well, this has been Sad Boys. We end every episode of Sad Boys with a particular phrase. Um, yeah, I think we love you. And uh, mm, hypothetically, <laughs> we're sorry. <laughs> I hate this character. <laughs> um, hey, boom. He's right, boom, behind me. <laughs> he's, he's right, boom, behind me, isn't he? <laughs> Gucci girl, Gucci girl, how you doing? How you moving, girl? Moving, girl, how's your day looking? That future girl, future girl, yeah, we on now. Take my money, go away, how you want it? Gucci rich for me.